Hello guys, do you like sea fishing? Because that's all that this video is actually about. We're going to do a little rock fishing Bolentino style in this particular video. I will put all the information about the gear in the description of the video and I will also write some of it right here on the screen so you guys can see the important information straight away. So I must apologize to you all for these voiceovers in the videos. I really like when I can film and talk but sometimes that just isn't an option since I don't come from an English speaking country as you all know. So yeah, filming gets a little bit awkward here from time to time. Anyways, let's just jump back into the video. So let me tell you something about the bait at first. So the bait that I'm using right now are just some of these black mussels that grow under the docks and piers and some hermit crabs. Hermit crabs are actually my favorite bait ever. They stay on the hook just fine and fish absolutely love them. One bait that I also really really love to use is a squid, but I was not using any squid that day, so let, let's just leave that aside. Meanwhile, I was explaining all the stuff to you all. I'm already reeling in the first fish of the day for me. Look at that poor fella gliding on the surface not knowing what the hell is going on and yeah there you have it that is a species of fish called a pickerel a lot of people say they are trash fish and all I mean yeah they can be very annoying especially when you're fishing for fish like common Pandora and stuff uh, yeah they will just eat all the bait even before Pandora's and all the other a little bit better you know better fish can smell it, but these fellas can be very tasty indeed, so let's just say that I ain't throwing them back in the water. Plus, no worries guys, these fish are present here in millions. Speaking of their numbers, there is the next one coming out right now. <laughs> a little pickerel, not a pickerel, which is a species of pike that lives in North America, but a pickerel. I will just write that on the screen that you guys can see. It's actually a totally different fish, but the names are very similar. So just that there is no misunderstanding of what I'm saying. Luckily, the species changed a little bit in this particular cast. As soon as I set the hook, I felt something a bit nicer on the end of my line. And since I'm very familiar with the species of fish that live in that area, I already knew the fish I'm reeling out of the water is a common Pandora. Really one of my favorite sea species, I mean at least in my area, which is unfortunately kinda poor species wise. I mean, there's a lot of fish, just not a lot of different species. And yeah, these common Pandoras fight way better than the pickerel. You can notice that from the way I'm reeling it in, I mean I had to reel a bit slower. On the other hand, pickerel just glide on the surface like a motorboat. That is the common Pandora for you all, a tasty little fish indeed. If you look closely, this fish is pretty similar to guildhead bream, if you maybe know what that is. I mean, I'm not catching any of them in this video, so uh, yeah. But um, yeah, it looks kind of like that. Plus, And that particular little common Pandora also had some parasites on him and uh, yeah I of course remove these things these things just you know eat the fish I, I don't know what they're doing on it but surely it's not good the very next cast my common Pandora streak continued and that one was a little bit smaller but if you pay close attention you can see my rod moving when I'm reeling it in I mean like this is, these are these um, the fish was fighting back and it I mean, you can notice that on the road, right? Um, so yeah, this is definitely a benefit of the common Pandora if we compare it to the pickerel, which are just like you have nothing on. I mean, except in some particular cases that will appear a little bit later in the video. At this point, I would like to talk a little bit about the rig that I'm using. I mean, if you're paying attention, you can see that I'm actually using a color for weight. It's white. I also love to use yellow 
and maybe something like fluorescent green like chartreuse or something like that and hook wise I'm actually using three hooks um, I don't really know what the name of that rig is but if I would be the guy that named that rig I would name it high low medium rig because it has three hooks and like you know it's not a sabiki rig but it's uh, kind of close to it <laughs> okay so yeah uh, just pay attention and watch what happens in this cast right now. Yeah, I caught two fish in one cast, which is not that unusual, a lot of times I catch three of them. Uh, one hook, one fish, I mean three hooks, three fish, right? Um, so yeah, this is definitely a benefit of that rig, at least if, if you want to catch as much fish as possible. I mean, I do that all the stuff. In uh, when it comes to the competitions and you know that fishing matches or whatever that is, uh, championships and all the stuff, I'm actually kind of good at that. I don't know, maybe I will do a video when it comes that far. So, yeah, I would like to thank you all for watching, and um, I mean, I still have some footage left, so I will just uh, give you guys a little um, music for the background, so that it's not just quiet and or you're not listening to me, what I'm saying in my mother language, I mean some words really aren't that appropriate, at least not for the social media. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, um, watch the video till the end, uh, stay tuned for many more videos to come and uh, goodbye, have fun!